Another common argument, this is very important. They, they, they said well, what happened is, you know, you guys believe in God because there is a God of gaps. The God of gaps. Meaning that just because we have, you know, there is a gap in science, we have not discovered why this earth exists. So, so, so we have a gap in science. We have not found the reason why this, this, this earth exists by itself. So just because you, we have a gap, you guys, you, if you theist, invented a God to fulfill this gap. So first of all, how can we respond to this? Number one is, first of all, they have criticized us for having faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have faith in what? That science one day is going to answer that. So don't criticize me for having faith, yet you have the same faith in, in one day science will answer that. That's what's number one. Second thing, science sometimes, and by the way, many times, does not close the gaps. Like for instance, 200 years ago, we did not know that cells used to exist or how the atom looked like. But when we got closer and we have some, we, we tried to answer one question, what happened? We had, we discovered one thing, and what happened? We have now many, many questions to answer. Then what about this? And what about that? And what about, so what happened is, you know, once we discovered an, a, a, an answer for one thing, we end up asking ourselves 10 more questions. And once you answer 10 more questions, you might, be ha you know, you might come, up, come up with 100 questions. So sometimes the science itself does not answer all the questions.